Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here, and today I'm back with the top five things players need video series. And today we're going to be starting with defensive backs. We're now focusing in on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, so we're going to start with defensive backs today. Later on, we'll break up the defensive line uh, and do defensive tackles and defensive ends, uh, specifically of what they need, and then finish up the entire series with linebackers last. Uh, so today we're going to classify defensive backs as really two positions. You're either a corner or a safety. Uh, and so both positions really play the same and kind of need the same equipment. And so we really just, we're going to break them down the same way. Everything can go if you play corner or safety. All right, so we're going to start with shoes or cleats. Important thing with cleats, specifically with a player that's going to be dealing with a lot of speed, you want to be using something that's going to allow you to change directions very quickly and allows you to uh, be quick on your feet. Something like the Nike uh, Vapor series uh, that used to be around. Uh, they've come up with several new versions, but this is one of the older ones. This is a defensive back. Uh, any kind of cleats that you know a receiver would wear, defensive back is going to kind of be right there in the same uh, kind of realm. Uh, you want to try to find uh, probably molded cleats would be the best. Something that's just really lightweight. Uh, it's going to allow you to change directions very fast, uh, be able to speed up, slow down. Uh, and be able to change direction. So that's a very key when you're looking at your cleats. You want to look for something that's probably uh, low, uh, just based on the position, uh, just for, to cut out weight on the shoes, or cleats I should say. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, as gloves, and I didn't really rank these as like top things. I mean these are just five general things that you kind of have to have. We kind of leave off one of these, but if, if you decide to wear gloves, um, Go with a receiver glove. Go with a lightweight receiver glove. These are the Under Armour Swarm gloves. It's the original Swarm um, from a year or two ago. Uh, you just want something that's real lightweight. Remember, everything about this position is lightweight, speed, uh, uh, being able to have a lot of free range. You don't need anything holding you down. Uh, specifically with gloves, you just want something that's uh, going to give you that receiver style grip and going to allow you to uh, make a play on the ball and give you that little extra edge uh, to catch an interception. Uh, that's really gloves for a defensive back. Uh, you know, you could, uh, some may say you could go with a super bad glove, like a hybrid padded glove, but I would stick with a, I would stick with a lightweight glove, and that could just be on your preference, though. Uh, the next thing, and this is something new that we're doing with the defensive series that we did not do with our offensive series, but talk about the shoulder pads that you need. And so... And really, we break down shoulder pads just based on the style of what the shoulder pads offer. So there are a lot of there's a lot of options out there on shoulder pads for defensive backs. So this specific pad is by Riddell, and this is the SPX shoulder pad. It is recommended for running backs and defensive backs. Now, the reason that this style of pad is going to be beneficial to a running back or a defensive back. Specifically looking at why a defensive back would need this style. All right, so if you notice in the front of the pad, it's very short. Very first of all, this set of pads I love because they're such a lightweight, like real compact shoulder feel. Um, you know, they they the pad height on them is very small, very minimal, um, but they're compare them to like linebacker fullback pads. Uh, this is going to have a very shorter sternum piece uh, on the shoulder pads. Uh, the back is kind of standard. Uh, but you also, as a specifically what these pads call for, uh, you do get a little extra uh, protection um, here for your clavicle. Kind of some extra AC, not really AC joint, excuse me. Uh, some Just some extra, um, extra pads in the front. Uh, for to protect collarbone injuries uh, because you will be attacking everything head on uh, whether you're you know playing the run as a defensive back so it kind of makes sense to have some front protection from your pads it wouldn't probably be a good thing to have quarterback or receiver pads uh, because they eliminate this pad up front in that set so whenever you get Whenever you get to those, you know, you're kind of losing that frontal edge and you can, you know, it, the thing with receiver pads is you want to, with receivers, 
you want to try to limit, uh, or you want to try to, excuse me, you want to increase your uh, range of motion. These will still give you a good range of motion, you'll just have added protection. So this is uh, probably the most recommended set of pads that I would get for uh, from Riddell. There are other there are other options to this, but this is the Riddell SPX running back defensive back pad. Uh, I would highly recommend that to you guys as far as the style of that goes. So I've got two other items uh, to to break out uh, as far as padded protection goes. Uh, you'd want to find a girdle that's lightweight, such as a three pad girdle. And, you know, there's really no preference on brand. A three pad girdle is going to give you a lot of lightweight options. Um, just something, something lightweight. Done, not, the whole thing, like I said, with this position is not allowing you to slow down uh, and be able to maintain play at a high level. So a three pad girdle uh, with just hip, tail, pads is kind of what you need. The last thing that I kind of thought of, and this is more of a swag item, uh, but you could really, you know, chalk this item up to preventing abrasions on the field. Um, I actually don't have any padded elbow sleeves, so I just broke out some forearm shivers to kind of just represent in its place. If you have like the McDavid, um, the McDavid shooter sleeves with the pad, that'd be, you know, a good defensive back item for elbow protection, still having something lightweight. But having you know a forearm shiver as well, just added protection can really, you know, especially on turf fields, because uh, you know you're gonna be hitting the ground tackling. So it'd just be one extra thing you could be adding to it. If you think I left off anything, you're welcome to leave anything down in the comments below that you use uh, at the position of corner or safety, defensive back. I left off visors because that's more or less a swag item. I know this was what I consider a swag item, but uh, I really think a elbow, uh, an elbow sleeve, a padded sleeve is going to be beneficial to a running back and a defense, or excuse me, a, uh, a defensive back. So, talked about the pads, uh, something new we tried. We will be talking about uh, the different pads of each, um, each of the two linemen sets that we're going to do, the defensive line, the D tackles, and D ends. We're going to be doing those, and then even linebacker as well. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like I said, if you think I've left off anything, leave them down in the comments below. Um, there's always room for interpretation with all this stuff, but more or less this is a general idea of what a defensive back player would need and kind of having his arsenal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys stick around for the other videos. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Mr. Football Coach, and we'll see you next time.